Hi yogis, let's start today's vinyasa detox routine in Sukhasana, a seated position on your mat. Cross at your shins, sit up tall, and place your hands on your knees. Inhale through your nose and pull your chest up and open as you lift your chin. Exhale through your nose and cave your chest and tuck your chin. Again, inhale, chest opens, chin lifts. Exhale, chest caves, chin tucks. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. One more big breath in and open. Pull your heart forward. Then exhale, come back to your tall, neutral spine. Reach your arms overhead and slowly rotate to your right using the strength of your core to turn through your ribs and shoulders. Then release your hands down, right hand behind you, left hand on your right knee. Breathe deep and slow as you gently twist to the right from your lower back all the way up through your neck and chin. Come back to center with your arms reaching up, then slowly turn to the left, using just the core to initiate the twist, then lower your arms down to assist. Each inhale, sit up tall. Each exhale, gently twist. Come back to center and place your feet flat on the mat, about hip distance, knees bent. Plant your hands behind you and lift up into a reverse tabletop to open through your shoulders and chest. Try pressing your knees forward as you lift your hips up, open through your heart. Now lower your hips back down and roll over your ankles, make your way to downward facing dog. With strong yogi hands, so your fingers are fanned out wide, Press your chest towards your thighs and bend your knees a little to warm up and ease into this pose. Step your feet up behind your wrists for a chest expansion. With your feet hip distance, knees bent, interlace your hands behind your lower back. Press your knuckles up away from your hips and deepen your breath to create space. Release your hands and toe heel your feet together to touch for halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins to find a flat back and roll your shoulder blades together behind you, pressing your heart forward. Now even out the weight in your feet, front and back, and keep this weight even throughout the next few poses. So forward fold with your weight still even in your feet. Next long inhale, stand up tall for mountain pose, reach your arms up, then fold right back down, leading with your chest as much as you can. Inhale, halfway lift, find your flat back. Exhale, forward fold, let's flow. Inhale, mountain pose, stand up. Exhale, forward fold, hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. One more halfway lift, really lengthen. Then this time, fold and step your left foot back into a low lunge. Lower your back knee down and rise up into a crescent moon with your arms reaching up. In this flow, keep your back toes tucking under. You'll need this for later. Tuck your tailbone under and slightly lengthen out of your hips and up through the crown of your head. Then bring your hands together at heart center and inhale to lengthen and lean forward just a couple of inches. Exhale, twist to your right. Hook your elbow outside of your knee and lift your belly off of your thigh as you twist up and back into your right shoulder. Breathe deep.
Gently come back to your crescent moon with your arms up and left toes tucking under. Then slowly airplane your arms so your palms face down behind you as you lift your back knee off the mat. For one-legged mountain pose, launch forward and reach your arms up as you pull your left knee up. Now set your gaze for balance on one spot that's not moving. Then slowly wrap your left leg around your right, crossing above the knee for eagle legs. Bend your right knee so you're sitting into your hips. Add your eagle arms by wrapping your left arm under your right, cross at the elbows, and again at the wrists. Keep your elbows lifting and your twists really tight. Then release all at once and find mountain pose, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, find your flat back. Exhale, fold and step your right foot back. Lower your right knee down, but keep your toes tucking under. Find crescent moon. Bring length to your spine as you lift out of your hips and get tall through the crown of your head. For the twist, bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale, lengthen and lean forward. Exhale, twist to your left and hook your elbow outside of your knee. Deepen your breath to get the most out of your twists. Lift up and back into your left shoulder and even rotate through your neck and gaze. Come back to crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms and lift your back knee off the mat. Set your gaze and slowly launch into your one-legged mountain pose with your right knee lifting. Your gaze is set kind of like you put on blinders, so you're totally focused. Slowly add your eagle legs. Wrap your right leg up and around your left as you sit into your hips. Add your eagle arms by wrapping your right arm underneath your left and twist all the way through your wrists. Tighten your twists, then release and stand tall, mountain pose, inhale, forward fold as you exhale. Let's flow one breath, one movement, so we're going to pick it up. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold and step your left foot back. For crescent moon, inhale as your arms reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center and twist to your right. Inhale back to your crescent moon with toes tucked under behind you. Exhale, airplane your arms and lift your back leg. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, stay focused. Exhale, eagle legs, wrap your left leg over. Inhale, eagle arms, left arm under. Exhale, tighten everything. Inhale to release and find mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Less cues this time through. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold and step your right foot back. Keep it calm. Inhale, crescent moon. Twist to your left. Inhale, crescent moon. Airplane arms and lift your back knee. To one-legged mountain pose, breathe in. Eagle legs as you breathe out. Inhale, add eagle arms, right arm under. Squeeze as you exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, a little bit faster. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, step your left foot back. Crescent moon as you breathe in. Graceful twist to your right. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane arms and lift. 
Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Exhale, eagle legs. Inhale, eagle arms, left arm under. Exhale, squeeze. Then mountain pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Then fold, step your right foot back for crescent moon, inhale. Twist to your left. Inhale, crescent moon. Airplane arms, get ready to launch. Find one-legged mountain pose. Add eagle legs. Inhale, right arm under. Then exhale, squeeze. Mountain pose as you breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Just one more halfway lift. Inhale to lengthen. This time, crouch and curl. Squat down into a tiny little ball so your heels lift and your chin tucks. Relax your shoulders and send a few deep breaths up and down your spine. From here, step back into a high plank, then lower all the way down to your belly to set up a big belly twist. Reach your right arm 90 degrees out from your side, palm facing down. Bring your right ear to the mat and plant your left hand under your left shoulder. Press into your left hand to roll your body onto your right side, opening up through your right chest and shoulder, and plant your left foot anywhere behind you to keep your hips open. Let your head and neck rest and relax. Lower your belly back down to the mat, but keep your left knee bent open so your left shin is parallel to the side of your mat. Press your chest up so you can thread your right arm underneath. And once you're lying on your right shoulder, reach your left arm up to the ceiling and start to open up into a big twist. It's okay to drag your left knee back a few inches as you work to unstack your shoulders. Just find a place where you can relax and focus on breathing deeply and slowly. To come out, reach your left arm back up and curl up on your right side. Then come back to a neutral position on your belly with both legs extending long behind you. Reach your left arm 90 degrees out from your side, palm down. Press into your right hand to roll your body onto your left side and plant your right foot anywhere behind you to open through your chest, shoulder, and hips. Lower your belly back down and keep your right knee bending open so you're planting your inner thigh on the mat. Press your chest off the mat and thread your left arm underneath. Then reach your right arm up to the ceiling and slowly open up into your twist. Ideally, open up so much that you're working both shoulders into the mat and your right knee can stay down. Wherever you find yourself, deepen your breath to get the most out of this twist. To come out, reach your right arm up, curl up on your left side, come back to a neutral position on your belly and take your time as you press up and back into a child's pose, a place where you can completely relax. Send your breath into your lower back and just ground into your mat. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you check out my seven day yoga challenge playlist for a yoga routine for each day of the week. If you're on Instagram and want to take a 7-day yoga challenge for yourself, take a picture of your eagle pose and use the hashtag. Let me know of what you thought of today's video and share my YouTube channel. Subscribe for weekly uploads, or if you're not a big YouTuber, sign up for my monthly newsletter with exclusive updates and recaps of the last month's theme and videos. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow.